Right now we're sitting at 34 degrees with overcast skies in Sandpoint, 34 in Coeur d'Alene, Spokane, checking in with 36, Raftrum 36, and Wallace 34 degrees. As I mentioned, we have a special guest in the studio. It's a band called Rising Lion. They are playing tonight at Downtown Crossing. First of all, welcome all of you, Dennis, David, Julie, Congo, Daniel. It's a pleasure to have you guys. Hey. Pleasure to have us. Thank you. And the, the, you guys are nice. Enough. Everybody knows that I just things go in one ear and out the other. You gave me your names all earlier. I was like, all right, this is. I have to write them down <laughs> where you're standing. So I have like the schematic. So anyway, so you guys are based uh, in New York. No, originally you're from New York, but you're now based in Florida. Well, the band was started in New York in 1992. Okay, so you guys have been playing um, for quite a while. Yeah, and then, you know, moved back to Florida after a while. And so I'm originally from Florida. Okay, what part of Florida? Orlando. Okay. So you said uh, when we were talking off air that you, you really are all from all over the place. How did you come together as Rising Lion? Uh, just like musicians, just find different musicians and networking. Networking. Yeah. Yeah. Social networks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I met Danny through uh, Craigslist. So. Seriously? Well, day, yeah. I, I met him on a pager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Well, we've been going for a while and musicians, you know, sometimes you have to change up. Some guys can't tour right there and sure. some guys, you know, it takes a while sometimes to get the right, you know, consistency and, and personality of people. Uh, me and Dave have been touring like almost 16 years together. So we've seen a lot of miles. So who, who are some um, of your biggest influences then? If you, I mean, you guys have obviously been playing together for 16 years, but... Uh. Well, you know, different musicians have different influences. Mm -hmm. For me, as a songwriter, you know, I um, I got into to, um, what, Jimi Hendrix when I was like 17. Um, got into Bob and Peter when I was 19. Um, and Bob Dylan from there, because, you know, different songwriters love Dylan. I'm sure. a big Dylan fan. Um, respect most as a songwriter. But really, every every style of music, R&B, blues, country, jazz, soul, hip-hop, everything, you know? Because That's I grew good. up in a house with everything playing, so. Now, Daniel, the benefit are, you, of that. are you the songwriter, or the main songwriter of the yeah. group? So what, what inspires you to write music? Do you observe, like, day-to-day well, -day you know life, what? or from the heart, or? Well, the inspiration comes from the most high, you know? From, from whatever you want to call your maker. Right. So, you know, I get inspiration, I see something, and then, you know, I write about it. Yeah. That's and right. when I write, I write about, like, everyday life. You know, things that maybe I go through, or things that people, you know, close to me around me, I see them go through, you know. So just write about things and, and try and put the music in a way that, you know, it, it can maybe make people feel. Or may, maybe make people take pause to, to think, you know? So we try to be thought-provoking, try to be all that, because definitely I believe that music is a, is a platform for social change. Absolutely. You know? Well, you guys are playing tonight at the uh, downtown class. As a matter of fact, uh, tonight and tomorrow night, yeah. so folks yep. have a couple of opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't know where Downtown Crossing is, they're uh, in Sandpoint, downstairs at 202 and a half North First Avenue. It used to be called the Tunnel, but they've got a great little, great little spot down there. It's a fun place. How about you guys play some music for us? Oh, boy. Yeah. That sounds Please. like fun. Well, this is a song um, written by Dennis Brown, and it's on the Rising Line album, American Dread. So we give you a piece of it. It's called Wildfire. Thank you. Your love is like wildfire Spreading all over the world, yeah Girl, your love is like wildfire Spreading all over the world, yeah I've sent you roses this many times Why do you think all oh, my woman? Fire, 
Maybe not love for the day We sip champagne by the fire Together we will walk in the Rising Lion who's playing tonight at Downtown Crossing and they're here in the KCM <coughs> studios. That was a beautiful, beautiful song. I really like that a lot. Thank so, you. so Marie McAllister is our new uh, person here at KPND and she's back here in the studio. She was asking you guys, what exactly did you ask him? What was their worst city that they <laughs> 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 And now they're like, oh no, we're going to say it. Okay, so, so, so to put the shoe on the other foot, what about the, the best city that you've ever been to? Well, you know what? Everywhere we go is good. Well, you have a really good attitude. We were talking about. But it's the <laughs> truth, though. People treat us, you know, very, very nice everywhere we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and we give thanks and praise for that. You yeah. know, because the Most High's message and the Most High's music. You know, so when I sit here and play, you know, I don't, you know, the songs, the talent. I'm sure Dave would say the same. You know, um, you know, we're the man from the bone, from beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. You know. That's, that's who we are, that's what we are, that's the message. And the message is peace, love, unity, you know? That's a good positive thing to have in today's world because there's not a lot of that really going around. So I'm glad you guys are out there to spread spread that feeling. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. um, so now, obviously I don't have your CD, but I'm assuming that you have many <laughs> CDs out there. Yeah, we have um, three CDs out. Okay. Um, New Day is the first one. Don't Lose Yourself is the second one. Okay. American Dread. And then we have a new one, um, Changes, that's in the process of coming out, and it's coming out. We're doing something different this time. We're putting out singles okay. um, until we get to a certain point, and then we'll put the, the rest of the album out. 
but the newest song out is a song called Feeling Irie okay. that we're you know hoping for for big things for for spring and summer, and then we have a song that um is actually start to come together in the in the live show um, called Love You that we have a, a good time playing and has a good message to it. So, so do you find you know with today's social media and, and YouTube and all the different ways that you can put out music is it easier now to get music out to the people or, or is it more cluttered and more difficult or do you well, you know there? it's 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 changed you know um, it used to be to where you know everybody couldn't even record because they couldn't get their hands on equipment now right. everybody can get their hands on equipment sure. everybody can record the industry has changed a lot um, and I guess if, if you're a band like us and do what we do you know the the chips are gonna fall where they may. If you're good, you know, well, and, and people like you, you're gonna get the fan base you need, you know. And if you're not, then you know you 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 know, water seeks its own level. Right. So you know, so it go with the same thing with music. Um, for us right now, you know, we're independent artists right now. Um, have been for for a while. You know, been signed to a couple of different labels and stuff, and we got promoters, but we're starting to really put our own things together as far as publishing and, and all that type of stuff. So, you know, we're just looking forward to the future and optimistic and working and and pushing forward, well, you know? And with a positive attitude that you can't exactly. go wrong. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I was just briefly looking at your tour schedule and uh, it looks pretty grueling. <laughs> what, what's an average <laughs> month for you as far as tours go? Well, I mean, you know, we try to play as many days a week as we can play. Yeah. So, so are you on the road all the time then? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Now we are. I mean, we we we've always done a lot of touring, to be honest with you. Uh -huh. And for me personally, what I learned to do was learn how to tour. So you know, keep everything just level. You know, with the shows, with the 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 day to day thing. I mean, on a day to day basis, you know, I'm happy. Yeah. You know, because I'm, I'm doing something I love doing and I hope and think that everybody else here is, is doing the same thing. And, you know, we'll just keep it level. Keep it rolling, keep it level, you know. Every day is a new day, you know. Well, I'll tell you what, let's talk a little bit more and get you to play another song. Let me take care of a few things and we'll come right back with the band Rising Line. Again, they're playing tonight at Downtown Crossing and tomorrow night. Um, is there is there a charge? Do you know to get into the door? I don't have that information. For there me. is a charge. I'm okay. not sure. Uh, okay. the, 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 I'm not sure how much it is. But there's okay. a charge. Yes. All right. Well, perhaps we will uh, be able to uh, come up with some tickets after you guys get done performing. But we will be right back with the band Rising Lion.